It's a winter wonderland out here. What kind of sitting is that? What are you doing? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm out with the dynamic duo of Stinkles and Stinkles, and uh, we're gonna spend another couple nights out here, winter camping, doing some ice fishing. Uh, if you can really call it winter camping, it's really not, but it is, but it isn't. Technically spring, but I always find myself, you know, do I call it winter, do I call it spring? when there's snow and there's ice covering the lake. We'll stick with winter. Um, I wasn't expecting this. So, the ice isn't very thick on the edges. So I got my muck boots. It's not thick there. It's not thick there. Oh, it's not super thick there, but it's fine right here. I, want, I, I left the sled up there in the woods because I wasn't sure. If I want to drive in the lake, and there's no slush, so I'll go across the lake fine, but there's like 
four feet of just not ice. I, I don't think I can get the snow beyond the on the lake. That's a good thing I checked. So I came to the woods. Uh, but I'm not really happy about this because uh, there is a 100% chance that this guy is going to just lay down in that. And Monty is going to be confused because he's going to have to get wet. Whatever, Monty. Come on. Come on. Come on here. Come on here, Monty. Come here. Over, come over here, Monty. Over here. Come on, Monty. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. Well, their booties are wet. It's not super deep, so... Yeah, the ice is fine once you get to right here. I guess I should introduce the SS Good Times SE. That is my new snowmobile. This is the first time taking it out camping. Oh, jeez. Go ahead, go get him. Go get him, Monty. Go get him. I don't know about that. It's kind of wet. Anyways, SE stands for snow. Hold on, Monty. I had something to say. Anyways, SE stands. Hold on, Monty. I just gotta say this one thing, okay? Anyways, SE stands for. Monty, can I please just say what I was going to say without you rudely interrupting me, please? Anyways... Monty, I'm going to lose my mind if you don't stop. Anyway... Anyways, SE stands for Snow Edition. Thank you. I appreciate it. Come here, come here. I appreciate it, finally. Come here, just come here. Come here. Come here. Give me that butt. Give me that. Show me a new trick. Show me a new trick. He's clapping his legs. Yeah, that's the new snowmobile. Monty, okay, go. Come here. Come here. Come here. Go. Go. That's the new uh, snowmobile I got. I got a Ski Doo Expedition SC. Put that to the test snow edition. Um, I haven't used it a whole lot this winter, and I'm building Monty a ramp to sit on the back. Kind of, I've been getting him used to it. I just didn't make the ramp, and I it, it wasn't crazy distance. But when I start going further in, uh, I got him riding on it. But it's kind of warm. It's around freezing today, just a little bit above. Um, we're supposed to get a snowstorm tonight, up to like a foot or so. Uh, but anyways, we got a medium start today. We've got like three and a half, four hours of light left. So we gotta get to work. There is so much less snow here than I thought, so we're gonna get, let's just get started. Come here, Puffers. Give me your booties. Come here, give me your booties. Come here, Roots. Come here, give them to me. Oh my gosh. Come here, Roots. I did not bring enough towels for this, boys. Oh, these are just soaking wet. Their bottoms are soaking wet. What a weird time to go hot tenting. Come here. Oh, Monty, you're soaked. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a messy camping, sloppy. Especially when we get the wet snowstorm tomorrow. Come here, Monty. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Stay there. Oh. Luckily, I can dry everything out in the hot tent. All right, go be free. Okay, so for dinner. I need to catch fish. We're doing some ice fishing today, which I'm really excited about. I'm glad it's not a sloppy mess out there. That's gonna just, that's kinda nice. You know, I've been to this spot before, if you haven't noticed. But, uh, anywho, I think first things first, since I need to fish for dinner tonight, we're gonna get right away and set up out there. Just get one going while I'm setting up, so in case we don't get skunked for dinner. Right by there, Ogre? Right? So, we're going to have to clear all this snow out. Luckily, it's not too bad. There's not a ton here. Um, I mean, that's a good and a bad thing. I like lots of snow when I'm out like this, but there is so much less snow here than where I live. 
so much less. Just like, this is like a fifth of the snow I got at home, at my house. I just had to shovel the roof off my house like two weeks ago, because we got another like two feet. It's ridiculous. Let's catch a fish. I need to... The other reason I brought the snowmobile is because first I wanted to just introduce it and use it. Second, I've never come out and ice fished with just myself. And I have so much crap, so much extra crap, like the rods, the, the auger, all, all that weight. And then I just, I just brought extra crap, okay? And I couldn't fit it all in my sled. There was no way. And I got that big box on the sled, which is like 140 liters. And that's pretty nice. Okay, what? do I need? I need stuff and I need things. Alright, I'm gonna get the ice auger out. Let's uh, let's catch a fish. Alright, we're just gonna set up one for now and then we'll see how it goes. So, uh, one thing I'm not sure about right now is since there's water around the edges, and so it's basically like this ice is just kind of floating and not frozen at the edges. I'm wondering if I drill a hole, if water is just going to start pouring out and just make this... Ruggs is just rolling around like a monster right now. And just make it just like a wet, just slick ice rink, which would just be a great joy. That would just be probably the best thing that could happen. But you know, we'll just we'll just see what happens. We're not gonna not fish. That's just not a possibility. So let's just see what happens. Um, my scooper pot was too big. The handle broke on the other one, so I just had to use my hands. It was a little chilly. So, we are just going to be using some wax worms and hoping to catch a fish. Okay. Just attach this little bell here. I don't know. I can't remember how this is. How does this work? And there we go. Now we'll just go, uh, set up. Hopefully this thing starts going off in the next, you know, 45. If it doesn't, we've got two more lines we can set up and we'll, we'll spread out. We're fishing. Oh my gosh. I just said it. Gosh, you gotta love when it just works out like that. Oh, watch me. Watch out there, pal. Oh, yeah. Beautiful rainbow trout. 
right off the bat. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. Oh, look at the colors on this thing. Oh yeah. Perfect eating size. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna need another one for tonight. Monty, what are you doing? I think this might be enough for dinner tonight. All right, now I've got to find a way to store them. All right, whoo! Nice, Monty. What are you doing out there? Okay. So, I'm not gonna set my line up again, uh, cause I think that's all we need for dinner. I mean, maybe if I want to catch some more later for fun, I will. But right now we got to set up since we've already got dinner secured. Uh, yeah. We don't gotta, we don't gotta worry about that. I made up a little live well. I might improve on it later. I'll have, I kind of, I drilled like eight holes next to each other. I took my ax and I chopped it. I drilled them like halfway and then I cut a little ravine from that hole. So it's got fresh water going in. And then I put the chunks of ice to block it. So hopefully it's still there. Um, we've been robbed of our fish. We've lost fish. He, you stinker. You know, crazy things have happened before. So I wouldn't be, you know, I guess I'd be surprised if the fish was gone, but I wouldn't be like insanely surprised if it just all of a sudden wasn't there anymore. Break fruits. Thanks, dog. Okay. Shouldn't have to clear out too much snow. No. What kind of space do I need here? Watch out, Monty. Watch out. Get him, Monty. Get him, Monty. Get her, Rooks. Get her, Rooks. Go get her, Rooks. Get her, Rooks. Get her, Rooks. Get her, Rooks. Go get it. Okay, Monty. Grab a little pine cone piece and just get steel from him.
We're getting there. We're getting there. It's nice just lifting chunks of ice, you know? Ruger, I appreciate your enthusiasm, but not right this second, okay? I'm, I'm doing that thing where, you know, you just have that slight bent over. And it just like, feels really good on your back. Don't you yell at me! How dare you! No! I'm not gonna fall in right now, I can't. I can't give in. Oh, settle- he's shaking with excitement. Ruger, we will play stick. Let me set up camp first, please. Monty, is he getting you riled up now? Now you gotta bug up your butt? Ruger. And he's trying to catch these blocks of ice. I was shoveling snow over there and I had to bet. Hey! Come here. Come here. Come over here. Come here. Up, up. Up, up. Hey. 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 Settle down. Settle down. Okay? Settle down. Settle down. Psychos. big enough it's close I think it's big enough Start right here. Yeah, maybe a little bit more right there that corner is good right here needs a little Okay, boys, I think that's good enough. Monty, not every package is a treat, okay? Some of them are just things and stuff, okay? Well, they all look and sound the same to me. So, you know, I get excited. Is there a problem with getting excited about something each and every time, okay? I want you to just laugh about it. Okay, okay Monty. I got it. Leave your be. Leave your be. I'm gonna. Alright, bring it here. Over here. Over here. Over there. Come on, come on. Over here. Bring it here. Over here. Over there. Monty. Monty, come over here. Come over here, Rooks. Over here, Rooks. Monty, up, up. Up, up. Up, up. Alright, stay over there for a second. Stay over there. Not enough room. Dang it! 
was real close. Just, just a little bit off. corner back away there, there you go ooh just enough Okay. Nice and hot. Now we've just got to run some ropes. Uh, if you'll notice, my paracord's all nice and neatly bundled up. Not something I would do. We all know that I'm a fan of chaos and I like the rat's nest. This was a product of Jake and Ken not being able to stand the way I treat my paracord. <laughs> Rubik's cube. <laughs> you need to find the end, Jake. Okay. So. I think there's a few ends in there. <laughs> this is all the <laughs> guy lines in one. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Hey, look. Oh, there you go. Hey, I got four ends right there. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to go skiing. All right, I'm just I'm not, not finding solutions, I'm just finding problems. I apologize. I need an Oreo. Building exercise includes the complicated puzzle. We already faced the complicated puzzle. We solved it. Now I got another one. It's not as bad as it looks, but it's still pretty bad. <laughs> so they bundled it up for me. Let's see how they did this here. Here. There we go. Now I get it. Never mind, it is nice and neat. Thanks, Ken and Jake. I'm not sure if it was just Ken or both of you guys did this. I feel like Ken would have. This would have been something Ken would do. Jake, I don't know if I could see him wanting to tie 
but paracord all nice and neat at the end of a trip. I don't know. We are officially set up. All right. Now we just need firewood. Um, so I've got the snowmobile. You know, I just gotta figure out a way to get firewood with it because the sled isn't the best for laying logs on. I've got that big box. What I could do That's what I'll do. I'll chop it up out there, fill in the box, bring a load back, drop it off, like right there, because I can't get too close. There's just too many little trees. I can't get through here. So I'll just drop all the firewood off there, then I'll carry it from there to here. Because there's, I, I, I gotta go a ways for firewood. There's no firewood. Um, I mean, there's firewood, but the good firewood is a ways away. So, let's go get some firewood, is what I'm saying. Alright, this one right here is a dead leaner. It's just wedged. Oh! Jeez. Well, we'll just have to, we'll just have to cut it. You know what I'm saying?
Come on. There it goes. Ah. Oh. Forget it. All right, we're dragging this near the sled. We'll cut it up and load it in. Then we can just get this one. Oh. Was easy. <laughs> okay. We'll just unload these and then we gotta find one more tree and we should be set for tonight. I like one more maple. There's tons of pine, but there's there's not a ton of maple around. Uh, I mean there is. It's just a healthy forest, so they're not there's not a ton of dead standing. Is that one over there? I think it's a pine. We'll go check it out. We're just kind of floating around the forest, you know? Oh, well it's alive. All right, let's let's search for one more, and then we'll, yeah. Okay, night is settling in. Um, yeah, I got most of the firewood that's plenty for tonight. I got it all. We did two trips, filled the box twice. Um, yeah, nice solid firewood. Now we just need to get a fire going. And then I gotta get all this crap in here because the storm is supposed to be coming any minute. It was bright and sunny, now it's cloudy. Um, yeah, we're gonna get all this firewood in here. Actually, before we do anything, we're gonna spark up this fire. That's what we're gonna do. Then we gotta just clean up.
hunting commence. over here. Come on, just lay down for right now, I know. Oh, Rooks. Come on, lay down. Come here. Lay down. Lay it down. Come on. Oh, 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 it's okay. Lay it down. Okay. Whew. We got temporary doggy seating. It's dark out now. Um, I gotta blow up their sleeping pads, but first I need a place to rest my booty. My pants are all wet because I've been walking through that water. What's this? A little big old stick. It's a delicious, beautiful rainbow trout. I just went with the one. We didn't even put the line back in. That was just quick. That was just the perfect fish, the perfect time, just right away. As soon as I set it, I literally set the line walked back to camp, set up the camera to start, or I started setting up the camera to start recording, and immediately it was biting before I even got the camera fully set up. That was quick. I love I love fishing when it's like that, and it's just, just delicious, vicious. I mean, I was a little sad I couldn't fish for more, I'll be perfectly honest, but I've been kind of pokey setting up taking my sweet time. But that's how I am sometimes, you know? Sometimes I just poke around and it's fine. Cause here we are, we got firewood. We're about to sit on our butts. We may crack a cold one. We may uh, eat some snacks. We, uh, you know, may just, uh, you know, whatever, start cooking dinner, who knows? We're gonna do whatever we feel like. They put on some good miles today. I mean, between all the walking around, getting lumber, and they put on, what, four or five miles, boys? Yeah, you guys are gonna be a little tired. Especially because they did a little jogging. Monty is the slowest creature ever created. When he is in front of the snowmobile, he goes, I've mapped it out, like 1.5 miles an hour. And it is the slowest, it's so slow, I, I can't stand it. Sometimes I ha I just, most of the time I do have to put them behind the snowmobile so I can maintain like four, three and a half, four, which is still really slow. But like when Monty he gets in front, he just like walks super slow. <laughs> just mopes around. Oh, what's this? Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Feels nice. Good job, Brooks. Just I get up, he has to get up. Burger, get over here. You're gonna burn your face. Come on, just lay down. Don't worry, I'm gonna get you a better spot, I promise. Just lay down for right now. He's very upset with me that I did not throw him the stick. But we don't have time to play stick today. We'll play stick tomorrow. We'll have plenty of time. Well, full, full day tomorrow. But for now sleeping pad time. Got to give them their spot. What's that?
Go ahead, Rooks. Monty. Monty. Come, Monty. I've, come, I've given you comfort. Yes. Explore the comfort. Yes, it's nice and cushy. Yes. Come on. Very, very good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Feels nice. You know what else feels super nice, boys? Taking these waterproof socks off at the end of the day. Oh, don't get me wrong. These these Seal Skins knee high waterproof sock thingies, they are great because I just did all that in muck boots, which don't breathe at all, and my feet 100% dry. I know that seems like it's impossible, but, oh, there's a hole in my sock. Oh, that's the worst. And there's a hole in my, <sighs> but yeah, those things, they keep your feet dry. Um, you know, once, once you have mine, you kind of just get used to them, but taking them off is super re relieving. And of course, you can't hot tent without camo hot tent Crocs. <laughs> oh, we are living the life of luxury right now. Oh. oh, man, I really need to get... So the, the reason these knees get ripped up so easily is because, you know, winter camping and just camping in general, you kneel a lot. You kneel to chop firewood, which I do every single time I go camping. You're always kneeling. I kneel to do all sorts of stuff, and that's a lot of weight on the little knees and just rips up your knees quick. Always, always on every pair of pants, smart wools, the knees get ripped up first. I mean, that's a big hole. That, that usually happens once I get a small hole. <laughs> and then when I'm putting them on, my toe goes into the hole a little bit and it goes, <laughs> I'm like, ah, dang it. Oh, what, what do we got for time? Oh, shoot. We're going to have to start cooking dinner here soon. <laughs> that's, that's perfect because I'm kind of hungry. So, let's see, what are we having for dinner tonight? What are we having? You know, I know what we're having. I just, I just thought of, you know, I've got two options. I could have one tomorrow, one today. Today, we are having fresh caught rainbow trout fettuccine alfredo. That's right. That's going to be delicious. Um, so, before we cook... Oh, I mean, this one's pretty easy to prepare. Pretty, pretty easy. We're going to go ahead and grab this thing right here. You know, give her the old crack ski. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Oh, 
yeah. So, I think we're going to make the Monty's Mango Mush for the boys here. And, uh, yeah. Um, other than making dinner, um, I've got some good news. Um, the SS Good Times, the original, the one, the only, it's seen some sad days. And, you know, it got basically destroyed. Then, uh, I took it out after trying to self-repair. And it just wasn't looking good after that trip where I fell on my back off that ledge and the boat was leaking. Uh, after you guys commented and reached out to somebody, they reached out to me and the, the company that makes the boats, uh, Brian, got a hold of me and they fixed up my boat. They said they could help out because I didn't do a good job. <laughs> so they professionally repaired it. And I go pick them up um, soon, I think. They should be ready before canoe season. So the SS Good Times and Funk's boat should be fully repaired, fully 100% ready to go, just like brand new. Maybe not brand new, but they should be good. They might not look pretty, but I don't really care about looks. I mean, look at that. I don't care about looks. Who cares? I mean, look at... I'm sitting here in my underwear. We're gonna have an old Wisconsin turkey bites. I'm just gonna have one or two. Because we need to save these for the boys tomorrow. I gotta check them out first to make sure they're... I just threw that and it got caught in Monty's butt fur. Get it, Monty. It's in your butt fur. I can see it. There. A sticker. Oh. Oh, what's going on here? Anyways, I'll check back in with you guys when it's time to start prepare everything. We're just relaxing for a minute here. Okay, let's start by chopping up some garlic. Oh, spoilers. Spoilers. So I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up or not, but Monty is letting out these slight disapproving grunts. Let's just... Do you hear him? It's just like... Uh. <laughs> and they're just slowly and uh, just, they're just like rhythmic. I'm just going to give a rough chop on this garlic. Like I said, we only got to prepare a couple things. This one's like, I, I love this meal because it's quick. It just, you just got to prepare a few things and then it just cooks really quick. So, once we're done preparing, I've, I've, uh, I've been pre-peeling pre my garlic lately. Ooh, snow is starting. I hear it. It just started. It, like, it was not snowing a minute ago. Okay. That's good enough. Have some nice bites of garlic. Get the hair out of there, put that off to the side. Okay, then we've got some parsley. Which we're just gonna... Give the old rough chop. I've been asked before why I use curly parsley over Italian parsley for things like Alfredo and the answer to that is that I don't have an answer to that. It's just what I use. Alright, that's got a rough chop. Rough chop. 
keep that off to the side. Then we've got one more thing to prepare. Is the boys Monty's mangled mush. We just gotta cut up a sweet potato. We'll give them half today, half tomorrow. Oh, there goes a potato. Got a little ground pepper, that's okay. All right. Theirs doesn't have to be fancy because we're just going to boil it and mush it. All right, that's all we've got to prepare. Let's get to cooking. Heat up this pan a little bit. The boys, where's theirs? Okay. There's. Hmm. I feel like they're going to be eating after me. I guess I could start heating up some water for them. <laughs> Alright, the cooking is a little skewed because the fish that I got is too big for the pan that I want to cook it in. So I have to use this one, which is what I was going to cook the Alfredo in which I'm going to now cook that one in, which is what I was going to cook the boys in. But basically, i got to wait for the fish. I, it's just, it's just, it's all messed up. But anyways, what we're going to do is we're going to kind of start by throwing in our fish, which I, I would, you know, I would, I would do the orders a little bit different. And this is why the boys are going to have to wait to eat their food versus me because I'm use I gotta use their dish. You'll you, you'll see. So we're gonna throw in some butter here. All right, we're gonna drop in our beautiful, delicious rainbow trout. A little slime in there. Oh yeah. Okay, now the boys are gonna get this water. Okay. Some Montreal steak seasoning. The greatest spice ever created. And I know what you're thinking. I'm making Alfredo. Why am I using Montreal steak seasoning? Because d don't uh, knock it till you try it. It's why. Because it just goes good with everything. Montreal flavored proteins just win every time. Nine times out of ten. Actually, ten times out of ten. What am I even saying? All right. So we're going to get this sizzling. We're going to get this heated up. Um, let's see, what do we got to do? We got to add some butter here. Nice little healthy portion of butter. You know, if you, if you haven't noticed by now, I'm a fan of butter. Oh, yeah. I like butter. It's so good. Oh, that fish is going to be so good. Alright, now to our butter, so this is the fish, this is the boys, this is the Alfredo getting created. So we're going to add in our garlic. A, I zested a whole lemon. I love lemon zest. It adds just a brightness to pastas. It's so good. Mmm. Okay. Where's my spinach? Now we're gonna fry this garlic and lemon zest up in this butter for a minute.
you know what we're going to do today, which I normally don't do till it's too late, is we're going to actually start our pasta water getting heated up to boil our noodles. And I brought the jet boil out today, so I'm going to do that off to the side here. I'm going to just get some water starting to heat up. All right, let's flip our fish quick. Just to get... Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's a problem here. This side is lacking something. And that something it is lacking is Montreal steak seasoning. This, the boys are probably not going to be eating with us because that is not even close to boiling and I'm going to probably use my jet boil afterwards, but I've been feeding them hunter sausages off to the side and they're kind of sleeping right now, so they're going to be fine. They're going to make everyone feel bad for them when I'm eating and they're not, but you know, that's just how it works out sometimes. Sometimes they eat before I do. Sometimes they eat before they do. That's just how life works. Stuff here, we're gonna add some chunks of sour, or cream cheese. Get that warm then. And to this, we're also going to add some milk. Let's see. That seems that seems like a good amount of milk. Eh, maybe a little splash more. Ah, that's good. Okay. We're gonna get that heated up. Boy, it's getting warm in here. Woo! Oh, geez, sitting next to the fire. This stove is hot. Oh! Ooh! That is a little warm. Oh, it's got a delicious golden brown crust on it. So that's a little hot. We're gonna have to move that to the side. I do not want that burning. Probably should have waited on the, the milk to let the cream cheese melt for a second, but that's okay. Once this gets hot enough, this will all cream pie. We're gonna add a whole healthy portion of Parmesan cheese. Oh yeah, just a little sprinkle more. Perfect. We're gonna add in a good chunk of our parsley. And we're going to add in a little salt. Not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. A little sprinkle more, there we go. And then a little black pepper. Oh yeah. And now we're going to move this off the heat and stir it up because it's looking like it's getting too hot. This will go over here. We do not want the this to burn. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It's all cheesy, gooey, ooey. Oh yeah. Oh, that looks perfect. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Oh yeah. Okay, that just needs to maintain its heat not get too hot. Um, oh, 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 what's down here? Oh yeah, noodles. Okay. 
our noodles. Our going in. I, this is probably way too much for this pot, but you know what? We just we figure it out is what we do. There goes in our fresh Alfredo noodles. I am just it's getting hot in here. I've taken off all my clothes. Oh, where's the fork? We're flipping the fish. Oh my gosh. Okay, that is pretty much done. I mean, it's got to be done right. Oh yeah. Fin's coming out. <gasps> put this off to the side. Okay, we're gonna put this off to the side for a minute. That fish is done. Oh my gosh. I don't know where the fork of approval went. The noodles are getting close. They're cooking. Oh, it's getting turned down. Oh, this test noodle. Not quite. Mm. Oh, it's gonna be so good. All right, so I have nothing to put the hot boiling water because, so the trick here is, when you're boiling these noodles, you wanna save some of that water because if you throw the, the, the noodles right into here, this creamy, delicious cheesiness, it looks perfect for the first couple minutes. Then it all of a sudden gets thick and just like a mass so you need to have some hot boiling water to kind of liquefy it so I'm gonna like not drain all this water and hopefully keep enough to mix and make it perfect so we'll see that's just looking good let's try to debone our fish while those noodles are boiling it's time to assemble this masterpiece I feel slightly guilty that the boys is not ready but you know what I've got to just do what I've got to do all right, we're gonna do our best to judge the amount of water in there. Hopefully it's enough. There goes in our water and our noodles. Oh yeah. Some more Parmesan right on top. Okay, add a little fresh parsley as a garnish. And then remove the fork of approval and add in. Delicious rainbow trout. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that is so much food. Oh my gosh, this is definitely going to be some lunch for tomorrow. <laughs> okay, and with the spork of approval. That right there, ladies and gentlemen, is some freshly caught rainbow trout fettuccine alfredo that I'm going to smash until I can't eat anymore. Let's eat. Do I feel slightly guilty that theirs is not ready? Yes. But I am human. I am not perfect. They are dogs. They are perfect. I'm cooking dinner. They're not cooking dinner. So I screw up sometimes. Now they have to wait. I'm sorry, boys. Normally we eat together, but I guess we're rusty. But I'm not going to eat cold food. 
and here we are so it is what it is I'm, I'm, I'm not waiting you guys are gonna get yours I've been feeding a little hunter sausages like I said this is way too much for me to eat in one sitting there's no way <laughs> oh my gosh definitely gonna be eating some of this tomorrow I just got to find a way to store it. I think I need this. No, I don't. Here we go. It's a good thing I didn't bring a piece of bread because I would eat probably half of this, maybe. Now I'll eat two-thirds. Monty, listen, I'm making your treat, okay? It's like, oh, well, what the heck? Why are you eating and I'm not eating? He's like, if anything, I should be eating, you should be watching. Punk? Oh. So, the only thing to know if you're going to make your own rainbow trout alfredo is rainbow trout is more light and decadent versus like if you're making chicken alfredo and it's got like a nice, you know, like a, or a steak is just got like a bite, it's a lot softer. The flavor is still amazing, but it's softer, so it's harder to t it's harder to tell, you know. <clears throat> Monty, all right, back up. Please. It's coming. I'm cooking it. Just wait. Mine's getting aggressive. <sighs> okay. The boys is done boiling. I just got to mangle it, mush it, add it to their food. We're not going to show any of that because... The aggression I'm getting from Monty right now needs to not be on camera. If you guys think that Monty doesn't get aggressive, this is what an aggressive Monty looks like. You're being way too aggressive right now. Look at him look at me like that. He's just breathing heavy. This is aggression. I ate all the fish, and I ate maybe two-thirds of the noodles, and I still got some more of me. Okay, up, up, Monty. Back up. Up, up. Back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, yeah, back up, yeah, back up. All right, lay down. Leave it, leave it. Hey, 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 hey. Just wait a sec, you psycho. I wrote, no, no, lay down. <laughs> this one's yours. <sighs> go ahead. No, Monty, 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 Monty. This one. There you go. Go ahead, Rubes. He just stole that from me, didn't he? Oh, Monty is a monster. That proved it right there. He just went to. He just is like blind by his need for food and treats.
He just stole Ruger's even though he had another bull right in front of him. I wonder what, at what point he became such a food monster. Look at that. That's spaghetti. Go ahead, get yours. No, my d- Hey. Yeah, I don't know. Or don't. Well, I ate, uh, here's what's left. I don't know if you can see this. This thing was full to the brim and heaping. This is a little, uh, scoop of noodles. <laughs> I ate way more than I thought I would of this. Honestly, there's like two bites left and I'll probably finish that before I go to bed, so. Oh, 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 oh. Rugus. How dare you steal Monty's food. I thought Monty was the monster, and now I see. Monty, I am. I apologize. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Riggs, for checking if there's any food left behind before bed. Oh. Monty's got his butt turned to you. I can see his face. He's looking at me, but you guys can't. Oh, I'm so full. Mm. What was that? What was that? Rugs, no, 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 Rugs, no, no, Rugs, no, 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 come back. Come on. Yeah, searching for treats is done. Searching for snacks is over. It's time to search for a puppy spot. Very good. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, I'm tired. I'm very tired. So, uh, hey, no more snack searching. No, that's fine. As long as you're not searching for snacks. Okay, I'm passing out. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody. Ugh.
Hi. Good morning. Hi, Mudge, look at your ears, they're all back. Oh, come here, Mudge. Come here. Hi, Mudge. Hi. Hi. Hi, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Mudge, come here. Mudge. Okay, Rooks. Right, Rooks. Rooks. I know it's a new day and you're full of life and you want to go outside and explore the world. You can hear it snowing. It's been snowing all night. Uh, I'm sure we got at least a few inches. I mean, it's been coming down all night. We'll take a gander out there. Nice fresh blanket of snow. Ooh. But uh, these guys probably got to go to the bathroom. Good boy. Monty, come here. Oops. I got to pet the Monty a little bit. Come here. Hey, look at your ears. Why are your ears back, Monty? Hey. Oh, yes, yes, my dear. Yeah, you deserve some pets, too. I've been petting rooks all morning. Yeah. I think it might be actually raining, because they were just out there, and they're not covered in snow. So it's really not winter. Definitely not winter. Anymore. <laughs> There's a chance the snow could mm. melt, this fresh snow. Um, and I've got all my dishes are dirty, they're real dirty, so I gotta clean them before we make breakfast. I thought we'd start the day off with a nice little snowmobile around and just check out the wintry scene out there, you know? Just cruise around for a little bit, because after you after I feed the dogs and stuff, uh, they can't run around as much, and Ruger definitely wants to go do something. So we're gonna just go... Ride around in the woods and stuff, and just let's just go check out the wintry scene before it all melts or something, you know? Because I know we got a fresh blanket of snow out there. I just saw it. It just went out there. So we're gonna gear up and go 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 check out the woods. What do you say, boys? You want to go outside? You want to go outside and go just yes. wait, Rugs? I gotta put on your jablutis or your your jablackies. You get the black ones. The cooties. And Monty's got the jablutis. You got the jablacooties. Hey boys. It's a beautiful wintry scene out here. Come on. Oh. Yeah, it's definitely not snowing anymore. But, uh... Yeah, come on, boys. I tripped.
good puppies. Good boys. Well, it's still pretty out here. We'll probably uh, set up a line here soon. Maybe I can use, yeah, we can use that same spot. Since the spot did so good, we might as well set up a line. I've got my, uh, I got water in all the dishes. I realized I don't need to have a watering hole. I can just use the edge of the lake instead of having to, you know, mess around with that. So we might as well set up a line while we're cleaning dishes, you know, since we're out here doing some ice fishing. Why the heck not? Maybe we catch a big old fish. We need more fish for dinner. I was really banking on catching fish because I, you know, I don't do a ton of ice fishing, but uh, it, uh, it's not so bad. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Instead, just soon it, it was waiting there for me. Look at that. Beautiful rainbow trout. <laughs> See if we can get some colors. Is that 
Is it in focus? Here we go. Beautiful little rainbow trout. We're gonna let this guy go because I think we're gonna have good luck today. We'll catch a nice sized fish for dinner. Okay, that's a good omen for the day. Oh, got my little live well still. All right. So basically when I'm fishing like this, um, sometimes when you, uh, you know, you're leaving your line set up, they swallow it and then there's no releasing those fish. So that's why yesterday, like that one was hooked right on the edge of the lip. So as long as I can let them go, I'll keep fishing. But as soon as I get to the point where, uh, you know, I can't release it because it had a bad hook, I'm not gonna keep fishing because in case the next one gets a bad hook. That's pretty much how I do the ice fishing like this. When you're fishing normally, you know, you, you're normally they don't. This, when they have time to look at it and just swallow it and then they, their own tension, you're more likely to hook them deep. So. There we go. All right, we're all set up. Oh, hey, Roots. Didn't see you there. And also for fishy hands, you just gotta use a little feeder. I mean, it's not wonderful. stick with you and now you're not come here come on bring it here bring it here bring it here roots bring me the stick bring it here roots why don't you bring it here bring it here roots come on bring me the stick get a stick roots bring it here bring it here roots why? Give it here, Roots. Give it here. Give it here. What are you doing? Give it here, Roots. Roots. You know, this snow seems a little perfect for, uh... visit from old Frank. Bring it here, Rooks. Monty, did you lose another? Don't bark at me, mister. Where's your booty? Where's your booty? You know, now that we haven't caught a fish in five minutes, I'm starting to have fish release regret. Should have maybe just kept that because we, we do need fish for dinner. Why would I release a perfectly good fish?
That's just me knocking and abusing my camera once again. Dang it. Oh man. Boys, I'm getting hungry. You know, we're gonna, Frank will rejoin us later. Uh, why don't you stop barking at me? I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> that poopy boy run. Here, give it here. Give it here. No. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna make some breakfast. I'm, my stomach is growling. It's breakfast time. We'll hear the fish if it comes out. It's food time. and gravy. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. It's just like... I also do love some Eggs Benedict. Let's hope we don't add too much water because... Well, and we have enough water because uh, I drank all the water I brought out so we're boiling up some lake water right now. Let's see if... That might have been too much already, but that's usually how it goes. Oh, that's probably definitely too much. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe. Oh, well, we did okay. That's not too bad. Pretty good first try. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah, we'll form that up in a second. Let's get uh, some butter on there. There's all sorts of schmutz. Just a teeny tiny little healthy chunk of butter. That might be a little, little extra. patty here. Yeah, we did perfect. That was like the first time I've ever done it that perfect. Right from the get-go. Try to make it a little on the thinner side. Here we go. And we're going to just lay it in one side of the butter. Get it all buttery. And do a quick flip. There we go. Now it's coated. Oh, that's gonna be perfect. You two precious puppies. You guys hungry? Do you want some food? I got some water heated up for you, and I'll give it to you in a bit. You hungry? Monty, do you wanna do you wanna eat some food? Ruger? Yeah, they're hungry too. We'll eat together this time. How's that sound, boys? Do you guys wanna eat together? Or do you wanna eat right now? It's like, well, obviously, I would love to wait for you, but at the same time, I don't really care about you, and I just want my food. So, take that for what you will. Oh, that's going to be so good. Oh, I love when it gets a nice crispy golden crust on it. The sausage is ready for the next step, which is a little bit of healthiness, what I like to call butter. Little just, little healthy portion of butter there. And I forgot to bring a little extra flour. Uh, so we're just going to use the scraps of the bannock 
Otherwise, we're going to have some really runny gravy. I don't know if this is going to work very well because it's like mixed with some baking powder. But we have no other options. Otherwise, we have runny gravy. So we're just going to throw in little, little bits of the flour scraps of the bannock and hope that this doesn't just turn into a clumpy goop with water or just liquid. I'll just go ahead and add all that in there and see what happens. We might need a little bit more butter. And I don't know if it's going to work. <laughs> we might have watery gravy today. Which is okay. I'll still eat it. It's still going to taste delicious. It just might not have the consistency I'm looking for. Oh well, let's, let's just go for gold here. Next we got to add some milk. But then on top of that we got to add a little black pepper. And a little bit of salt. Not too much salt. Not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. Let's see if we can get this to thicken up at all, otherwise we're having runny gravy today. Okay, it's kind of thickened up. I mean, it's acceptable. It's still a little runny, but hey, I'll take this over being complete water. I, I do like to add a little bit more milk, but hey, we're gonna have a sausage bannock today. Bannock and gravy. This should be just, oh yeah, that is just perfect. Nice crust on there. Oh yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do is, you guys can't tell anybody, we're going to get a little bit of this to the boys here. Because they're such good boys, they're just going to get a little bit. Mostly just like the sausage on top. That's good for Oh. I gotta give Monty some. Okay. Mm hmm. Now we're just gonna go ahead. We're just gonna pour that all over that. And Okay. Oh yeah, let's eat. Oh yeah. There you go, Rooks. There you go. Go ahead, Rooks. There you go, Monty. Oh, it's such a mess in here. Oh. Oh yeah. Break up this a little bit. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. This is a lot of uh, food here. Mm. I don't know if you can see me. It's okay. Brought out something special to wash it down with. A little orange juice. I like pulp free, and uh, you know, I just like pulp free. Some people don't like that. I don't like chunks in my liquids. Like, if it's a if it's a drink, you know, food. I'm all for chunks. But, you know, liquids, like just sip on it, I don't want, mm -mm. Mm. 
Ooh, that's a spot. I've also uh, got some, brought a little cappuccino powder, um, but I could not find my jet boil mug anywhere, so I'm gonna use this little noodle pot I used last night. I'm just making sure to get the water to a boil because with beavers and stuff, you don't want to get Giardia. It's going to take them forever. Mm. Oh! Finish up my breakfast here, and then we're gonna get out there. Catch fish, Mr. Monty. There's no bell on the uh, pole here. I was wondering, maybe. had a fight and the bell fell off. Oh. Okay, before we set up more lines and really go for some fish here, I, I do want to get some more firewood quick. Um, so we're going to go find a tree, uh, bring it back here, do that real quick so then we can just hang around here the rest of the day and then we're going to set up two more lines and get, get, get some fish. Because, you know, I'm starting to really regret letting that one go. What am I going to do? I'm getting some wood. I set this back up and got a bite right off the bat. But I don't think it's still on there. It could be. Dang alarms over here. That's faulty. Monty? That is evil. Oh my god. Dudes. Monty! Monty! Stop.
off. And if we don't get a couple bells, or a bell or two, or whatever, in an hour or so, we set up another one. Or we move spots. But for now, let's see what we got here. Okay, so I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. I set that line, and then uh, I was feeling a little tired, so I laid down, and I ended up passing out for like three hours. So now we've got about an hour of light left, I think. Yeah, and uh, we've just had that one fish that we let go. So we're really feeling the fish release regret, regret now. Drilled a couple extra holes. That should be on there. We're gonna set all fresh new lines. We'll try switching this one over here. This one's been a good spot. So we're gonna move this one. It, that was a bite. <laughs> Dang it. See how he does that two different ways? This hand. No. This way. This way. This way. Come here. Come here. All right, sit. Come here. Over here. All right, sit. Sit pretty. No, no. Sit. Sit pretty. No, sit. Ready? Wave. Good boy. <laughs> He's too excited to do them one at a time. Funk taught him a whole bunch of tricks. I'm trying to keep my voice down out here because I don't know if that's going to affect the fishing or not. I just heard a jingle. This barking is not going to help. The barking is the only thing I know that probably will not help. That's loud. I'll give you a deal. I'll throw the stick. You bark one more time. No more. Give it here.
just snapped the line. Or got unhooked. Woo! Perfect fish. Oh! Woo! At the buzzer. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, I wasn't even afraid for a second. Not even afraid for a second. Oh yeah, <laughs> see, completely fine that I let that other fish go. I knew I wasn't worried for a second. Oh, oh yeah, perfect fish, perfect, perfect, perfect bird in there. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that baby. Right there. Perfect fish for dinner. Look at that perfect fish. Look at the colors on that thing. Beautiful. Oh, 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 oh. All right. We are the champions, my friends. Come on. Come on, Rooks. Rooks, come here. Rooks. Oh, you found a nice little spot there, Rooks. You didn't even break through. Hi. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me that butt. That's the Monty special right there. He just gives you his butt to rub. The Monty special. Hey, Monty. He always gives me the butt. <laughs> Oh, all right. We got our fish. We got firewood. We got a nap in. It's not raining anymore. Oh, what am I yawning? Yeah, I don't even know what was going on. I was so exhausted earlier when I was getting firewood. Uh, I may or may have not. I may or may have not shown it on camera, but I was just exhausted. I don't know why. And then I set up the other fishing rod, and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna like, lay on my cot for just a second, just to like, take a load off my back, and I immediately fell asleep. <laughs> uh, you know, this is fine. I'm allowed to do whatever I want on here, so, <laughs> yeah. 
Okay? Maybe you know what else I might do, Monty? I might just crack a cold one. You know? Maybe it won't, maybe it will, maybe it won't, maybe it will. Probably will, probably not, probably will though. But it might not, but I might. But I'm definitely gonna. <laughs> so, we're just gonna let the night settle in. And then we're gonna make up our delicious fishes dinner. Which is one of my favorite ways to just prepare fish. Well, I guess the best toppings on fish. I mean, we're gonna we're gonna bust out the famous guacalsa, or is it salsa mole, as Captain Teeny Trout would say, or guacalsa. I think we did a kind of a vote, and most of you voted. Most of you betrayed me and voted with Captain Teeny Trout and said salsa mole. But since I'm stubborn, uh, we're sticking with guacalsa. <laughs> Bite you, Monty. I'm gonna bite you, Monty. Your fur tastes funny. Okay, well, it's time to let the night settle in, buddy. Ruger, come here. Come here, Ruger. Come here. Come here, Rooks. Come here. Hi. Oh, I'm gonna you. Come here. Come here, you crazy. Come here. Come here, Rooks. Come here, Rooks. Did he steal your stick? Come here. Come, just come here, you just squirrely little thing. You just stinking little squirt. You squirrely little crazy. Yes. Yeah. I got you. I got you. Why do you just love sitting outside of our camp area and just just watching? He does this at home, like we've got the big open backyard and he'll just go out there, sit in the middle of the yard and watch over his kingdom. Hey, Monty. Yeah. That's, your, that's what you love to do. Wet doggies. You guys can come in the tent if you want. It's nice and cozy in here. Oh. Come on in, boys. Come on inside. Oh. myself a brewski and we're just relaxing um, got the fish filleted everything set up the tent is a mess as per usual and uh, I think we're getting ready to make some food huh puppy so like I said we are making the famous guacalsa not the salsa mole the guacalsa um, we're gonna pan fry our fish up in some butter in Montreal as which is my favorite way to cook fish and then uh, we're gonna have some Asparagus and rice, which I love. Why? I've always wondered why. Why does asparagus make your your pee smell really gross? I mean, it's got to be something with what's in asparagus, but obviously. But I feel like it's the only vegetable I can remember that does that. 
Looks real stinky. Hmm. We've got a little bit of a celebration today. Uh, it might be a little bit belated for these guys. But, uh, well, belated for one, early for the other. We're getting right in the middle to, to hit them both at the same time. Not, not hit them, never hit them. But you know what I mean. A figure of speech. Right, Argus? Play dead. Play dead, Rooks. Play dead. Play dead. Alright, you guys want a little more Chex Mix for being good boys? So, let's make up some guac salsa and perhaps some fish and some asparagus and some rice. We're probably going to start with the rice first. I'm going to, I'm actually going to just get that going because that's going to take the longest. We'll get the rice going, and once that gets simmering, uh, we'll just put that off to the side, and then we'll prepare everything else because it's rice definitely takes the longest. I shut off the camera 20 seconds ago, and it just started picking up with raining or freezing ice, snow stuff. I don't really know. I'm not really sure what the temperature is outside. It's got to be below freezing. It was definitely not below freezing today. Um, it was getting a little sloppy on that ice and obviously it was raining. Oh, it's definitely picked up. Before we make dinner, there's something that we must do. And that is Monty and Ruger's belated slash early birthday celebration. Yay! <laughs> Happy birthday, boys! So, I've already prepared their cakes. Um, they've got a half pound of fillet mignon, which I pan fried up for them. And uh, the last thing is, is to, you know, celebrate happy birthday. So, oh no. This isn't a trumpet, this is just the mouthpiece. How are we gonna? We're just gonna have to bushcraft one here. Uh, let's see. Let's see, I got some tubing. Okay, let's just do that. Oh, 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 I suppose this will just, you know, have to do if I can get this in this little, there. We've got a bushcraft trumpet, right? I mean, it'll work. All right. <laughs> we'll see, I suppose. I'm sure it'll play perfectly fine, but let's light the cakes. There we go. All right, let's light the... Candles here. Oh. Roots. All right. All right. Let's get ready for this perfectly in tune celebration. Make a wish. I told her I wish you never do it again, but you keep doing it, so what's the point of wishing? Okay, boys. Hold on, Roots. Get out your candles. Ah, oh, it's hot! Okay, boys, enjoy your cake. Oh, that one's yours, Monty. I'll just 
Ranty, you gotta wear the hat. Ranty, come here. Ranty, come here. All right, right there. Go ahead, Ranty. Good boys. Oh. Woo. That was Celebrate by Cool the Gang. I don't know if it sounded like it, but I tried. <laughs> it's so perfectly in tune. It's amazing! I'm so good at the bushcraft trumpet! <laughs> oh boys, okay. Alright, the hats are staying on just fine. Oh! Oh! Alright! Well, as you can see, I hope you caught their ages by their candles. I'm not gonna say them out loud, but this guy was a couple months ago, this guy's in a month or two. Yeah. I also put, I, I kind of like boiled it, so they got a little bit of a bloody steak juicy water in there, so it's extra delicious for them. It is just raining like crazy out there, uh, but I figured I wanted to do them first today because I ate first yesterday, they had to wait, so now I have to wait. We'll celebrate them, they'll get the... They're filling Mignon, they'll eat, they'll be happy. And then, yeah, so I'll wait. And then I can eat a hot, fresh meal, and I'm fine with waiting. They're still going to beg for mine, which is fine. But it is rain, it is coming down out there. A little garlic. You pretty much just got to make the guacalsa, because I've already got the, the uh, asparagus ready essentially so we'll just give the old rough chop we got a little chunk of ginger it is just raining out there and if it was a little bit colder this would all be snow it'd be a lot of snow it's been raining all day. And it is pretty heavy right now. Let's just add that in there. An avocado. I'm usually pretty good about picking avocados out. You gotta really judge how long it's gonna last, how cold it's gonna be. You know, is it gonna be a nice, delicious avocado or is it gonna be soft? Oh, I'm making a mess. Just making a mess everywhere. Then we've got some cilantro. Give it the old rough chop. I love cilantro. It's one of those things you either love or you hate. You gotta add Some lime juice. Oh. That's ah, not going directly in here. Forgot jalapenos. Dang, I just remember that just now. 
the same. Normally there's like some green chunks in there that I remembered. Oh, that's looking pretty good. Ooh, we got a little... I want that in there. I've kind of moved spots over near the dogs here because it's kind of a mess in here. It's probably one of the messiest I've ever had the tent, but you know, it is what it is. But we're going to start off with a healthy chunk of butter. A little, a little wet. It's a pretty big piece of fish too. But we're gonna sprinkle some Montreal steak seasoning all over this fish here. The best spice for anything. It's not just for steak. Go ahead and flip this guy. Oh, ah. There we go. To get both sides coated in that delicious, delicious spice. There we go. All right, we're cooking. Okay, you can see the mess. There's crap back there. Oh, there's some crap there. There's crap over here. There's crap here. Crap here. There's crap right here. I'm pointing at myself. Um, yeah. But anyways, our rice is right here. That's well, that's looking pretty good. That I got started first. So basically, all we have to do is get the fish pretty close. And then we should, we'll cook up our asparagus, which will be quick, and then we're gonna have a nice, healthy, delicious meal. Somebody partied too hard. Monty? Huh? Did you party too hard? Speak. Oh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Speak. 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 Come on, you're barking all day on the ice and you can't give me a real bark. Speak. Speak. That was close. Speak. No, Leo. Speak. Speak. Come on, speak. There you go. See? For our asparagus, we're going to add a little olive oil into the pan. The fish is almost done, so it's a time I'll pull the asparagus. Oh, these aren't going to fit in the pan, are they? We're just going to have to grab them and crack them in half there. A little bit of salt, not too much salt, not too little salt, just the right amount of salt. And we're going to add a little bit of black pepper. Pull that right out. Get the rest of that off of there. Perfectly clean. Every chunk of meat. Look at that. Oh yeah. Get the rest of the rest of it right there. Oh yeah. Okay. Asparagus just needs another minute, and then we are gonna assemble this beast and feast on the feast that we've assembled to feast. Oh yeah. Scoop of rice. Oh my gosh. This is going to be a feast. Our delicious Wakulsa right over that fish. 
Oops. Oh, I just farted in excitement. Oh, yeah. Throw in the fork of approval. And that right there, ladies and gentlemen, is a fresh rainbow trout feast. Let's eat it. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's going to be so good. Okay, now I've got to figure out how I'm sitting in this tent again. Hi, puppies. I don't know what I should take for a bite of fish and raw calsa. That's for sure. Mmm. Mm. Little bone I miss. Mm. You know, after waiting this long, struggling to catch fish, making the dogs dinner and everything and just waiting, it makes it so much sweeter. Mm. It's about time to take that off, my dear. Come here, lay down, lay down. I don't want you to treat like I didn't feed you, okay? Because I fed you good. You got all sorts of treats. Alright, I'm about two-thirds done through this. I'm just inhaling it right now. Um, I'm going to finish up food here. Clean up a little bit of this mess. And then uh, we're going to get ready for bed. So I'll check back in with you guys when it's time to lay down and go to bed. Mm -hmm. This is by far the messiest I've ever had the tent. Hi boys. Hi puppies. Oops. Oh, you staying true to your nature, you gotta come lay next to me. No, don't you search for treats. I knew there was no way that Ruger wasn't gonna lay next to me. That's just not in his nature. He's soaking wet. I took him outside for a minute to let him go to the bathroom. But Ruger, he just has to stay next to me when it comes to bedtime. And Monty, he tries to find the coldest corner. The comfiest. I'm probably going to towel dry him off a little bit. I, yeah, like I said, it's just coming down out there. It's, it's, it's raining so hard that it's like, normally, because it's a hot tent and you got warm air in here, it stays super dry and the inside doesn't condensate, but it is raining so hard right now that it's getting a little moist on the walls. And I haven't been cranking the heat because uh, it just gets too hot. Oh, <sighs> So, it's time to pass out. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Good night, everybody.
Bring sitter down. <laughs> oh, he's gone. Hi, my team. Hi, come here, my team. Oh. Roops didn't seem to like that too much. <laughs> That winter storm we were supposed to get. I think it came last night. It looks like we got like... I mean, it snowed all night. Yeah. Monty. Monty, come here. Monty. Monty, come here. Monty, come here, buddy. Monty, come here, Monty. Come here, Monty. Come here, Monty. Monty, come here. Monty, come here. Monty. Hi, Monty. Hi. Hi. Oh, you're, you're, you're a stinky doggy. Yeah. Hi. All right, go ahead. Go outside. Go outside. Um, yeah, so anyways, we got some serious snow last night. Um, oh, I farted. Um, looks like, from what I can tell, at least like six inches. But, you know, it's like, it's super fine, packy snow. Uh, yeah, it's still snowing out there, too. Ah, uh, I keep farting. But yeah, I, I, I thought it was just done because it was like raining last night. Or it was like doing that. It was like sleeting towards the end and then it was just loud and downpour or whatever and then I was just going to bed and then all of a sudden I just was when I went to lay down to sleep I heard it stop and I was like uh ah. and then I wake up and I don't know if you can tell but the center pole of the tent is bent and I saw that I was like what the heck and I went outside to pee and it was just snowing like crazy and it's still coming down uh, wish this would have happened like yesterday, because today's the day we're heading home. <sighs> and, uh, on top of that, I kind of got to take a poop, so I have to go poop in the snowstorm. So, that means I can't dilly-dally sitting here. I gotta get up. Because I got to kind of go. So, yeah. Let's get up. Let's do it. Gotta practice the bushcraft trumpet. It needs work. Oh. Hi. Oh. It's a winter wonderland out here. Boys. Hi, puppies. Hi, Monty. Hi. Rooks, watch your butt. Rooks, come here. Rooks, Rooks, your tail. The fishing poles. Oh. Give me that. There you go. Over there. Oh. Yeah, we got some snow last night. I'd say, let's see. Oh, that looks like eight inches. Not too crazy, but I love how it just looks all wintry now. Everything's stuck to the trees. The tent, I had to whack off the tent all night. It was, uh, 
It was a mess. Oh, I forgot. Oh, yeah, that thing. Mm, that's going to be a pain. Huh. Well, yeah. It's just wintry out here. Puppies, come here, Monty. Garooks. Hi, Monty. Hi. Hi, you little fluffy bunny. Hi, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, come here Monty. Come here. Come here. Come here, stinky puppy. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, you stinky puppy. Oh, well. Uh, so, I've got stuff that's buried out here. As you can see, the sled's somewhere back there. I think I can see it. But uh, now we've got to pack up and move on out of here. We get to drive, we get to snowmobile through the wintry scene. It's always nice, you know? Like you could see the ground all over. Now it just looks like full blown winter again. This is what I was hoping for. I would love this the first day. You know, I love when you just get there and you just get this crazy storm and then you get to spend your time in it. But, you know, we still get to see it. We still get to enjoy it. Hi, hey, Rooks, come here. Hi, look at you. Oh, you're all frozen. You got a stick in your butt. Okay, so I suppose it's time to pack up. Yeah, it's pack up time. We've got to do it. It's going to be a lot of frozen, stuck stuff in here. All these snakes are going to be fun to get out. Okay, let's do it, boys. Monty, would you just stop humping your brother? Come on, man. It's weird, dude. Hump my stuff. Monty. Why? What did he do to you? He's just trying to enjoy his stick. And you're over there humping him in the face, pawing at him. Like, come on, man. Might be a little bulkier than on the way in. Got tons of nice. Oh man. 
man, this ain't gonna pack up very well. It's so frozen and icy. Oh, it's so heavy. Huh, some of the bulkiest I've ever had this thing. Oh man. See, this is, this is not what Ken or Jake or both of them did for me the last time I was out. You know, they spent a nice amount of time tying up the paracord so I don't have a mess when I came back out, but me, I just kind of do one of these. Go like that. And see, it's much quicker to put it away like this. It's just the, the part where I come out next time is gonna be. This thing is gonna tip over so much on the way out. It's so just uneven and just a mess. <laughs> oh jeez. Hi Rooks. He'll probably find that. Oh hey. The sun's coming out. We got blue we got blue skies. Check this out. Blue skies. Well, okey dokes, folks. That was a fun couple of nights out here. We caught some fish. We ate some delicious food. The boys had fun. We got to test out the new sled dragon stuff and showing you guys and. We even got a winter snowstorm, we got rain, we got sleet, we got everything. You know, another little taste of winter here. Uh, but uh, now we gotta head back to the car, get home, and I'm gonna edit this bad boy up for you guys probably tomorrow, hopefully, by 10 a.m., we'll see. But uh, anyways, it's time to head back to the car. So as always, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you wanna see more stuff like this, hit the subscribe button. And I will catch you guys at the next video. Come on, boys.
sorry, Monty. So we're out of the woods, or the, we're still going down the road, but I don't know if uh, my four wheel drive's busted, and I don't think my, this is like frozen ice mess, so we'll see if I can get my truck out. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun. We'll see. unplowed and uh, snowmobiles went down it and I get this little hill that without my four-wheel drive I feel like I'm driving a minivan I gotta turn around and find a different way out of here I gotta clear out all this snow so I can turn my truck around and go back the way I came and I'm already tired well, I am stuck now for the third time. Uh, first time I got pulled out by a truck. Second time I got pulled out by a truck uh, until this point, or no, I got myself out the second one. Third one I got pulled out by a truck and then we got to this hill and they could not get me up. <laughs> he almost got stuck. We had to shovel him out over there. Uh, he had a big old 2500 HD all jacked up like a machine and my little my little poop shooter <laughs> with no four wheel just is stuck so a uh, snowmobiler came by uh, the truck had his family so I was just like I'll figure this out uh, I appreciate all the help so far and uh, snowmobiler is gonna go search for more help and until then I'm relying on good Samaritans here <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing I could do. This is such a bad idea. I should have taken the four hour ride home where there might have been plowed roads. <sighs> well, I was gonna keep shoveling and at least I, I was, I went to turn around and I blocked the road completely. So that was fun. Uh, We'll see if I get this video out on time on Sunday. It's not looking like it. I don't even know if I'm gonna make it home today. <laughs> we might be hot tenting a little longer. I should have just stayed another night. I could just ate fish and snacks. Oh well. Monty Ruger. I'm exhausted. I'm really exhausted. I've done a lot of shoveling today now. And it's like aggressive shoveling because you're just trying to get out and then jump back in and move your car two inches and... Why? Why have I done this? Oh, and not to mention, uh, I had to take the dogs an extra, like we had to go five miles instead of just where the truck was it was stuck initially i i don't even know what i'm saying anymore i'm just gonna start shoveling stuff <laughs> <laughs> 